Last Rocket Ladies and Gentlemen. Oh, wow. Okay, Sam is stop moving. Last Rocket Ladies and Gentlemen. And they're gonna. Okay, something's wrong with the controller. Give me one second. Cut. Okay, let's rock it, ladies and gentlemen, and the guitar, and welcome once again to Metroid Prime for the Metroid Hype Marathon. Last time, we obtained our various suit and our giant fucking shoulder pads, and we defeated Flagra, the creature of poison in the, um, the Chozo Ruins. Now, we are in Vendrona Drift, the coldest area in all of Talon 4. Now, luckily, we, uh, we don't take damage from this particular area. But this area on your first run through can be a bit confusing. So let's see here. The music here is actually very relaxing. Okay, I already scanned you, that's good. Oh, I should probably, I should probably scan this too. This last one is kept upload. Okay. But yeah, for, I don't understand what they chose to make those things. Like, what use do they have for a stone in the sky? Like, I, I know why I need it, but why does the Chozo need this one stone over here? Let's see here. Oh, actually something useful that I, uh, I should probably point out. It, I'll, I'll go silent so, real quick, so listen to closely to the sound. That sound means, that room, room, means that there's some item around that is close to here that we can obtain. The question is, how do we get it and how do we know where it is? Simple answer, we don't. <laughs> Okay, now we need to go back up there to where we just were. Okay, okay. I really do like how this area looks though. Okay, just making sure that I can turn quickly enough. Yeah. I apologize that I took a bit of a break there um, in the recording session. Some stuff has been going on related to my home country, and you know, I, it's it's a difficult situation. Um, Venezuela is not in the best of situations, but we gotta keep on moving forward. So yeah, enemies like that, I believe, can only be destroyed with the weapon that we will obtain next, the um, the wave beam. But until then, they're kind of indestructible. Okay, and here we start getting some more enemies around here. These are the baby Shiga. Only way to hurt them, shoot the fuck out of their back. So... Let's see here, excuse me. Coming through. Yeah. Okay, so pretty much you, all you have to do is just shoot them in the back. However, sometimes when, when they fall like that, they might do a little extra attack in an attempt to take you down with them. It, will ne it won't kill you, but you know, you never want to take that extra damage. Yeah, that's a, the extra attack that it'll do. So yeah, around this area, in the original first print version of the game, um, there was an, a Metroid that appeared around here that isn't, that isn't supposed to appear until much, much later in the game. And if you didn't scan that Metroid, it will never, you can never scan it again. So you need to be careful about that if you're playing the first print version. Uh, they did fix it in the European and of course the Trilogy version, which is based on the Pearl Region version. Okay, Jesus Christ game. Yeah, actually, before we go there, let's explore this entire area, just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Mm -hmm. Yep, doesn't... Wait a minute. 
Yeah, this is for when we later get the um, plasma beam. Come on, Chozo, any lore? Come on, give me your story. Give me what you did. Give me, tell me how you fucked up. One second, let me just... Twelve seconds later. Okay, the microphone is in a better location now, so you should be able to hear me a lot more clearly. So let's see here. Adio. I should remember the first time that I was in this area when I first played the game on the GameCube. Uh, the electric enemies that that come close to your charge beam always kept killing me. So, yeah, don't try and bo don't bother with them for now. Once you get your wave beam, they'll be easy to take care of. And also, I love even though it's it means I'm taking damage. I love that detail that that the bugs stuff, um, you know, appears and it and it covers your entire visor. Okay, you fuckers are pissing me off. Come on, let's go. Come here, come here, let's go. Any minute now, fucko. Ah, screw it. Okay, so from here... Yeah, that's a bit of a beginner's trap. Some, a lot of people I've seen online will just jump off right there and then. Excuse me, coming through. I'm going to ignore the Shigas for now, just, to, just so I can scan around here. Okay. Excuse me, Mr. Shigas. Oh, hello! Oh, damn it, I, I, I'm gonna suck against the wall. Whoops, my bad. Could you stop that? Come here, vamos, toro, toro, toro. Ole. Eso es, eso es. Okay, let's see here. I know there is Chozo Lord somewhere in this area. Question is, where in the hell? Okay, one second. Something feels weird about the controls. Cut! Sorry about that, this should be better now. Okay, this is... For yeah, that's for my rocket. Hello! Excuse me. The amount of fucks given is equal to zero. Okay, so here, if I remember correctly, is where we get this booster ball, so whoop! Yeah, step one, be careful. Step two. Step three, profit. <laughs> okay. So you will want to clear out the enemies in this area, only so you have a bit of space in case of any mistakes. But, pretty much... Excuse me. What you're gonna wanna do here is clear the enemies, and then you will rise those platforms that uh, you see towards the right of me. Once you do that, you'll need to jump from from each platform to platform to make sure that... Uh, oh, come on, just make it easy for me, come on. There. You have to make it so hard. Okay, so. You see how these platforms make no sense? Well, we scan this over here. And they're all aligned. Now, we only are under a time limit, but also, every time you jump on one, it'll reset to its original position. So, let's be quick about it. One, two. Come on. Boom shakalaka. Boost ball, let's do this. 
Samus, you getting inside that ball still makes no sense to me. But there we go. The boost ball is now ours. And pretty much with it, we can just obtain energy, and with that energy, we can just go flying and zoom like we're fucking Sonic the Hedgehog in here. It's actually, in my opinion, one of the best ways to um, just travel around. So, just charge it up, and when you glow, you do that properly. There you go. Collision detection might not be your best friend at times, though, so keep that in mind. However, I believe you can use these people to do damage to enemies if you, if you use it on, on the correct enemy. It's not useful for everything, but you know. Just having the option there counts. Sounds like these are just perfect for the boost ball, just a constant sen uh, sensation of speed. Excuse me. Goodbye. Ow, okay. You wanna play like that? Thank you for the missiles. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, that I cannot do yet. Keyword being yet. Yeah, and I know backtracking like this is some of, is one of the things that keep people out of a met of playing Metroid games or Metroidvanias in general. But I don't know if done properly, it's not that big of an issue. And in Prime, I think it does it in a good amount, except when you need to collect. Like um, the the uh, the chosen artifacts and stuff like that, but in general, like required, you don't have to backtrack that much, in my opinion, in this game. Also, I see that upgrade over there. How do I get it? Uh, oh, I remember now. I remember what I need to do now. Excuse me. Well, step one actually we should be saving, you know, just in case of anything. I'm, I'm sorry, but ever since many accidents that I've had during recording sessions, I'd rather be a bit paranoid and save as often as I can than to lose any progress. <clears throat> but yeah, these always or these are always around the air or it's always around this area that I've stopped the game. And it's not because, oh, this area is just terrible and I cannot continue. It's because it's always, it's for some fucking coincidence. Every time I start playing this area, stuff in my life just starts getting in the way. But, you know, I'm doing the marathon. I can't let that happen this time. Okay, cut. Oh my god. Okay. Seriously, life distractions just keep piling up even when I'm trying to avoid them. Okay, we're gonna head back up, and from here, you might remember that last session, I went through this part in that le the connected Magmore Caverns to the Talon Overworld. We're gonna go back there, because now that we have the boost ball, we can obtain the space jump, which will allow us to do a lot of neat little um, exploration tricks. Okay. Oh, there was no animation there. Are you, are you serious? Okay. I in the mood of your shit. Okay, let's get, before anything, let's remember which way that is. Okay, so it's. Okay, bad jump, bad jump. Okay, it's that way. Right? What's here? Yeah, not that way. So... 
Yeah, we're there. I can tank your damage. Okay, probably shouldn't be tanking your damage. Let's see here. Seriously, I, I like this remix of uh, Norfair. I hate you so much. Actually, should I scan this? Okay, nothing there. I like this remix of Norfair, but... There are a few instruments that feel so synthesized that it loses a bit of the effect. For easy solution, just use missiles. Okay. Could you not? 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 I hate those enemies. Ooh, cha -cha 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 -cha. Okay. Come on, Samus. Make it easy for me. Love indeed, hard. Love indeed, hard. What do you want? Okay, let's see here. The game feels a lot more open than stuff than something like um the room mission, but it also doesn't feel overwhelming, if that makes any sense.